Welcome to an introduction to the fundamentals of digital economies. Digital economies are part of the new way of life. We all interact and immerse with smart technologies and digital transformations. Digital economies have not only transformed our lives, but also businesses and industries across the world. Digital economies are the future, and China is leading the way in developing smart technologies and business models. During today's class, we will gain insights on how the digital economy is shaping the lives of individuals and businesses in China. Let's go and discover digital economies and the opportunities it has in store for you. No matter where you are in the world, no matter who you are, you'll experience the morning rush. If you happen to be living in China, your morning rush will largely depend on different interactions with the digital economy. However, this isn't limited to Chinese consumers' morning routine. This also describes almost every aspect of their lives. Every aspect of life is made easier because of the mobile phone. Every morning, on their way to the office, Wang Ming and Li Le will grab breakfast on the go. Wang Ming is able to scan the QR code and use online payment methods to purchase favorite Chinese pancakes. The street side food vendor doesn't need a cashier to accept payments. Every time the owner receives a payment, there is a distinct sound that comes from the online payment app. This is an encouragement for his hard work. Online payment methods are widely accessible. This can be seen at the local fruit shop. Payment can be completed within a few seconds. Since she doesn't have cash on her, Li Le uses her phone to scan the QR code of the street performer to support and encourage more art form on the streets of Shanghai. QR code and online payments have revolutionized local businesses, especially for those street vendors and local sellers. The option of getting card machines in China can be difficult for those street vendors, so QR code makes it especially easy. The digital economy has even impacted the lives of the elder generation. Grandpa Zhang is doing Tai Chi in the park. He uses the video chat functions to stay in touch with his granddaughters who are working in Canada. In China, the digital economy plays a major role in ensuring that family connections and love are felt no matter the distance. High school students can use apps to study English. Artificial intelligence technology is helping her to advance her English and help to correct her pronunciation providing more options for her to confidently explore the world. Bike sharing apps make traveling and transportation more convenient. QR code means an even faster way of accessing these bikes. Wang Ming uses bike sharing options to travel from door to door. This is a more environmentally friendly way of traveling around. Li Le enters the details of her destination, time, and the number of passengers, and then the app makes a close match for her. This is not your average taxi booking service. This is sharing your car with someone going in the same direction. In a hustling and bustling city, many people will be heading in the same direction, possibly even the same block of buildings. This provides opportunities for car ride-sharing apps and a more environmentally sustainable method of traveling. Wang Ming uses facial recognition to make money transfers. This means no longer needing to go to the bank to run errands of making bank transfers. This technology also provides users with a safer option. The digital economy can often understand you better than anyone else. Even the smallest detail can be customized to suit your habits and preferences. Li Le receives articles on traveling from a news app. This happens to be her favorite hobby. Li Le makes an order for coffee delivery. Food delivery apps connect sellers and buyers through the platform, even for international brands like Starbucks. 
it is becoming increasingly more important to ensure higher quality online customer service and satisfaction. There are also apps to suit the need of every young and ambitious professional. Leela also uses this app to communicate with her teammates, make large file transfers, send and receive emails, as well as submit expenses. To be able to complete these different functions in one app means that she's able to work more efficiently. Going to the cinema after work for some evening activity is made easier with online booking and seat selection. Wang Ming and Li Le use a QR code to collect tickets and head straight in for their movie. No matter who you are in China, whether you are a street vendor, a grandparent or a white-collar professional, every aspect of your life is intertwined with the digital economy. Zhang Tingting is currently working at the delivery center and organizing the latest batch of parcels. By scanning the barcode, all of the data for the parcels can now be traced throughout its journey. Zhang Tingting wouldn't have been able to imagine how technological advancements could have made her job this efficient. As one of the most important part of the digital economy, the e-commerce logistics network is continuously challenged by the annual single day shopping festival in China. The single day shopping festival celebrates consumers across the world. During this one day, consumers from over 200 different countries purchase goods from all corners of the world. Li Le, Wang Ming and Zhang Tingting are a part of this global consumer trend.